Hello everyone, I'm back. I just finished recording a short, so if you haven't seen that, go and look at it. I just released it yesterday, so this is a new day. Well, you're going to see this a different day. Anyway, I want to talk about passive income. And um, one of the things that I use to generate passive income and have been doing it for seven years, you guys. Yes, you heard it, seven years. I never talk about it because it's just income they just deposited into my bank account. So it... I, I, I do my work like when it comes to passive income, I believe in seed time and harvest, right? So you plant your seeds, you water them, and you, you will receive a harvest on them all the time. That's kind of what Kindle Direct Publishing is. It's self-publishing. So if you already have a business license, you can self-publish your own books. Let's take Toya, you know, Lil Wayne's ex-wife, for instance. She self-published all the time. I don't think that she actually writes the content she hire writers or what we call ghost writers where can you find a ghost writer you can find one of them on fiverr or just google it and you should be able to find it now my first book i actually wrote myself and i actually put you know put took took photos and did all of this big stuff for my first book but moving forward i just do low content or no content books i'm going to show you I'm going to do a screen, screen share, excuse me, screen share to show you what websites I use in order to get the knowledge that I needed to do this first off. And then what websites I use to help me with as far as templates and things that I could do to make my book better. Here's some ideas of when I say low content recipe books. So if you're a really good cook, are you already on a bakery? This, this is, oh, it, this would be great extra revenue for someone that already own a restaurant or a bakery because now you can sell your recipes. If you know your cupcakes and banana pudding cakes and cheesecakes and blue, all of this good stuff, you can actually put together a recipe book, name it after your restaurant and sell it you guys make a whole lot of money tons of money so I'm, I'm telling you things that you can do and if you're not doing that you're leaving a lot of money on the table okay so even if you own like a um a barbecue place and you use special rub and you marinate your you know your ribs or whatever in beer or wine or whatever sell that in a recipe and you can self-publish you don't have to pay anyone to do it anything um all you have to do is if if you're doing a recipe again i'm going to show you what website i use for templates if you give you into budgeting if you like a coupon person and you and you want to share the things that you do to keep a good budget you can sell budget planners you can sell activity planners for moms you can do coloring books for children word puzzles the the list just go on and on and on you guys and I'm going to say this because some people will be under the comments saying that KDP is saturated. I don't believe in saturation. I believe in planting a seed, having faith, watering it, and letting it grow. That's that's what I do over here. I walk by faith, okay? So I don't worry about what other people are doing. I put my content out and I let it do what it do, okay? So those are some general ideas. Now, this website will also show you or give you ideas of what you can do to do low content kindles okay i mean kdps which is uh kindle content right now if you're a writer or you have a ghost writer already or you have a story that's tucked somewhere in your journal and now you're ready to share it with the world you can write the book you can read it yourself or pay someone to read it and sell it on audible audible books are more expensive than kindle because now people get a chance to read them and i showed you in one of my previous videos i'm always purchasing audibles i'm always listening to audibles so there is definitely money in that. You can make between ten to twenty five dollars per sale on your book on Audible. Now the range and on Kindle is between five to six dollars, just depending on your content. But right now we're about to go into the shopping season, and people are just circulating money like nobody's business in November, in November and December. So you can make a November coloring book, December coloring book anything just whatever your mind can conceive you put that content out and allow somebody to buy it and make money off of your intellectual content okay you guys so i'm about to do the screen share and here we go okay you guys i am back 
a few hours later but I'm back to complete the video and if you notice my screen you will see I just typed in you know like coloring books and this is what it gave me um, this is a Kindle and again no no particular reason why I picked this book it just came up first because I want to show you if you've never done this before and you never heard of KDP again Kindle direct publishing you can see a lot of these books on Amazon are from people like you and me that decided to do low content or no content books in order to make passive income okay so this particular person is selling a, a paperback for $9.99, hardcover for $19.99. Now, I know you're saying, well, I, I don't have the actual book. As mentioned earlier, that Amazon actually do print on demand. They have companies they work directly with that will print this book on demand for the customer, mail it out, and you pay Amazon a 15%, just like selling on Amazon, selling physical products, you pay Amazon 15% and keep the rest. It may not be a lot, but imagine this happening over and over again, and you're not having to work for that money, and it's just being deposited into your bank account, okay? So you work on it. You give this about three to four days of your time or however long it take you to come up with your first book, and then continue to do this like rinse and repeat. Do it over and over again, okay? So this is um, low content, no content. Like I said, then you also have the option to if you are an avid writer or you have a story to tell and you want to tell it and you already have your business license so most of the people like i mentioned earlier that subscribe to my channel are either pursuing a business license or starting a business or have already started a business you can self-publish under your business now when i initially decided to self-publish I had to provide Amazon with my business name and EIN number I don't know if it's still the same but when I created my account like I said seven years ago you had to have that information um, just scroll down to the bottom of the page and click on you know uh, KD, KDP excuse me or type it in and they will tell you whatever guidelines to, to go ahead and sign up for an account and I would do that now so just go ahead and sign up for your account even if you have no content or any idea of what type of content you're going to produce first so let's get started because sometimes I can really I believe over explain so let's just say you have some content or you have an idea for a book and you don't have all of the content for the book but you have an outline you can always go over to Fiverr and hire a ghostwriter to complete the book so you may have 10 chapters that you want to cover you have the name of the chapter but you don't quite have all of the content you haven't did the research for that content you can go over to Fiverr and they will complete the book for you what will happen is I know you may say well Tasha what if you know it's plagiarism when you upload your content to Amazon K DP they it will it, they will tell you allow 24 to 48 hours for the book to be live in that 24 to 48 hours what they're doing is they're checking to see if this book or content has already been published somewhere like Amazon is a beast you guys so in and, and this was happening back in 2015 with my first book so you upload the book and then they'll go and check it in and see if this content has already been produced and put in a book before if not then your content will go live and you are now a published author okay so what system did I use to write my first book because I didn't just you know miraculously know how to write a book I went over and I bought this system right here and I apologize you guys okay so I went over and got this system right here and how did this system help me it helped me outline and you know brainstorm and and structure my book 
So again, if you're not going to ghost write and you have some things that you want to say, you have a message, you may be, you know, good at something and you feel like your message needs to be heard to the world. Don't keep quiet. Put it in a book. Make some money. You know, um, like I said earlier, get paid off your intellectual content. So it goes, he, he really teach well. He also have within the program how to publish your first Kindle book in 24 hours. So you gather, it's like steps he tell you to take, gather your information, type it up, get it. Because you can actually publish a book with just 30 pages, right? Or 50 pages. It's just however long you want your book to be. But great, great program is worth every dime because you can use it over and over again. You're going to learn a skill that can pay you over and over again. So now let's talk about low content, no content. How do I do it? How do you build a coloring book or a crossword puzzle or a word puzzle book or a planner? Um, recipe book right so I go over here and I use this company let me get to their first page it's called book bolt and if you notice that it's like drag and drop editing so they already have the sizing that you need they have fonts they have you like image look at this more than 1 million royalty free images um patterns scalable designs filters and much more you guys you can literally build a crossword puzzle or a coloring book if you notice right here and i will try to show you as much as i can without getting into trouble showing their content puzzle books activity books coloring books people are always 100 percent of low content look at this Okay, so let's just take a peek in their system. So let's just say you want to know about something, right? You want to check keywords. And what I did was I went over and I checked cookbooks. Because if you notice, I mentioned earlier about if you own a restaurant and you have like a family recipe or grandma is one of those people that love to cook and she have a recipe box, sell it, sell it, people buy it. Um, D is telling you how to categorize or where a cookbook would stand on Amazon. So you also have a way of looking into other people's content. Look, look at this. KDP Spy. So how to set up and use KDP Spy for Amazon Kindle. It tells you how to research content so you can get on the front page of Kindle. And all of these suggested Chrome extension is within the system. Book Vault Lister says show you how to list your book based off keywords. Like it, everything is in here for you. And if you look, it says Book Vault Studio. You can also sign up for free, you guys. So this is how you would build out a book like this, an activity book for children. People are always buying activity books because I remember when my children were young, I used to buy those type of books. So create a book cover. Easy. Easy to create a book cover. Covers that sell everything that you need as far as research and book vault actually have tutorials and training within their system to show you how to work everything it's really not that complex me and my daughter actually have made low content books on amazon it's not that hard you guys click create a book and again you can start for free first you would custom research customer research so you're researching to see how often this book is searched and purchased so they tell you what your competitors look like then you would do an Amazon keyword all of this is within the system and you can have private training all of this is in their system and this is what I use to quietly build KDP low content no content 
and then I use here for actually content or books that I want to write. Both links will be below the video. I really hope this helps someone is thinking about ways to generate income. This is for the people that can't get out and work. Maybe you know someone that's disabled and is on a fixed income but really really is good at something or need to share what they know or you know need something to do you can do this on a laptop like this system is so easy you it's like a plug and play it's drag and drop you guys I'm trying not to show and I want to show you some of the templates that they give you let's just say you want to do a weight loss tracker here's some of the templates you want to do a book review some some people are avid readers and they want to keep track of the books that they read so they can fill in everything you also have a family camping list these are things that you can make books on um meal planner this is really big especially busy moms that have young children and you need to plan out your week in food even if you're doing like a meal prep and you're trying to stay on track Here's another one that I thought was really a good idea, house hunting. So if you're looking for a home and you want to keep up with the homes that you already went to see and what condition they're like, it, this, this is a great idea right here. Then we have lesson planners, vacation planners. I need this one. It just go on and on and on. They give you a full list of things you guys to just ideas mom goals let's see if they'll pull up for me yep mom goals things to hope to accomplish so people actually buy this content and they can be buying yours so i'm going to end this video because i have been on here for quite a bit let me close this because it's probably my personal information showing so i've been on here for long enough um again the links for those two companies or systems will be below the video um until next time you guys i want you to stay fearless don't forget to share this video if you know someone that can utilize this information and if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed don't don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video until next time stay fearless bye